Good morning, welcome to week six. Today we are on the bike and we're heading up to Doi Sutep. We're actually gonna be heading to the base of the mountain because we are walking up the Monk's Trail. We've made it to the Monk's Trail. We, part, we read this blog that said to park quite a lot further down. We started walking to the Monk's Trail, realised we were walking the complete wrong direction. So we just thought, you know what, let's just drive there and see if there's parking. And luckily, there's loads of bikes parked on the side of the road, so we just parked there. I will say, if you're riding here on a moped, just be really careful on the roads because there's lots of potholes. Let's go. We are about five, 10 minutes into the hike and it is sweating. It's so hot. It's quite loose on the foot as well. Um, it's not overly steep though, is it? But it's just the heat that makes it feel like 10 times worse, basically. Yeah, but I think so. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really covered by trees, as you can probably tell. But... but yeah, we're surviving. We'll report back in a couple of minutes. We made it to the top of the Monk's Trail at Wat Ba Lat. <laughs> now to pronounce it, but beautiful scenery, lovely temples, and a few monks walking around as well, which is pretty cool to see. And um, yeah, the overall scenery is really good. Really nice view of uh, Chiang Mai as well from up here. So we try and capture that on GoPro. I'm not quite sure if you can. Uh, if not, we'll capture it on the phone. So we're on our way back down now. The whole hike wasn't that long at all, really. But it's just a little bit treacherous and a little bit steep in some areas, so definitely need to wear proper shoes when you're coming up it. There were a few people in flip-flops, but I'm not quite sure how they were, they're gonna hack it. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend it. The views over Chiang Mai were beautiful. We're just gonna walk down now, as I said, and get to the bike and then probably ride up to Doi Su Tep, which is the very, very, which is the very, very top. Um, and hopefully we'll catch the sunset there. Woohoo! But yeah, definitely recommend it as a little trek and hike just outside of Chiang Mai. Any other thoughts? Women, <laughs> we need to dress respectable. Um, so wearing like a skirt or leggings, something that covers yep. the knees. And then when you get to the temple ground, something that covers your shoulders. So I have my buttoned up linen shirt. I'm not wearing it for the trail just because it's so hot. Yeah. I just can't. But uh, other than that, no, that's it. We are doing this trek in the mid afternoon. So the temperature is a lot kind of hotter and humider. Humider? Is that a word? Um, than you would do if you started early. So a lot of the blogs that we read online said start early, but we were originally going to come up here for sunset. But, we sort of didn't um, time it very well. Yeah, so if you're going to come up here, I'll definitely try and come up in the morning and get it done before it gets a little bit too hot and humid. So, top tip when you come as well is to definitely bring water and bring some snacks. I think like dried mango would be perfect. And I don't think there is a toilet up there. Certainly we didn't see one um, if there was. So, there's three of our top tips. We made it to Doi Sep, or not just yet. We've got all of these stairs to climb. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I think I guess some of it's like 360. I could be wrong, I need to check. 300 odd steps. We haven't been counting. There's a long way to go. Really cool though. Looks really nice. Can't wait to see what it looks like at the top. So at the top of the stairs, you're greeted with all of these beautiful looking temples. Everybody's got their shoes off. And I think the protocol is to take your shoes off and then walk through these temples and then I think it looks pretty good on the other side, so I'm going to go check that out now. The detail of all of these temples is just incredible. And when you really look at them, it's amazing.
think we made it to the best view in Chiang Mai, on top of Dui Shui. Worth coming to see at night as well because the whole city lights up. So sunset is a pretty good time because you get to see day and night. Today is Tuesday the 12th of December and we've come about an hour north of Chiang Mai to a place called Dante Waida, Wanda, um, a place where there's beautiful waterfalls. What did you rate it out of 10? I think I'd probably rate it about 7 out of 10. It's very random, very beautiful. There's not a whole lot to do there, um, but some great photo opportunities. So if you're into that, very, very stunning. It is, they are all man-made waterfalls. Um, and they've got flowers around, they've got lots of different shops. Um, so yeah, probably a seven out of 10. I think my top tips for coming would be if you're wearing long trousers, which is fine, because obviously it means you're not gonna get bitten, just make sure you bring a change of clothes because your trousers will get extremely wet. Same goes for shoes. We wore flip-flops and thank goodness we did because I would not have wanted to get my trainers that wet and dirty. Yeah. There, the floor's soaking. So I had bought a, a change of clothes and I did need to use it in the end. So I think that'd be my tip if you've got No, I don't think I think that covers it really. I think um you get you don't get wet wet, um, but the spray the spray going around but also then the spray from the waterfalls. Um because you kind of go like underneath and behind the waterfalls can make you get a little bit wet but i mean in this heat it's instantly dry so it's, it's nice, not like yeah. it's not like you need to change your clothes so I'll just bring shorts and t-shirt and you'll be absolutely fine yeah um but yeah don't definitely don't wear your, your fanciest shoes because it is quite muddy and very wet on the floor so yeah we're just about to uh, now do the hour long ride back to chiang mai today we've come to just a small little water park outside chiang mai On Friday morning, we travelled 30 minutes outside of Chiang Mai to go to this huge inflatable water park. We bought our tickets online for 800 baht, but then we realised you could actually buy them on the door for the exact same price. The whole place was built inside this man-made quarry and there was inflatable slides, there was inflatable climbing walls, there was inflatable seesaws, it was absolutely chaos. We got there about 11am and it was completely empty, it was literally us and another couple, uh, which was great. And then towards the afternoon it got a lot busier, so I highly recommend going in the morning. Here she goes. Let's try and get there safely. It was so much fun. We were super impressed with how clean it was, how safe it was, and how much stuff they actually had there. We could have easily spent all day there for sure. Thanks for watching. Join us next week where we go on Asia's longest and highest zip line.